Hey guys, it's Corey here, or Coswaza Gaming, back again. And today I'm doing a quick tutorial of how you can also stream from your console, so your PS4 or Xbox, to YouTube, Facebook, um, or Twitch even. Um, so I'm going to be running through what you're going to need prior, um, all the way up to the OBS uh, streaming software, and then how you can broadcast it yourself, all right? So let's get straight into it, guys. All right, so first thing you're gonna need to do is once you have your PS4 or Xbox um, and with your PC, you're actually gonna have to go and get one of these things and it's called an Elgato Capture Card, all right? So I actually have this one. Um, it's called the Elgato Capture Card HD 60S Plus. And I have the Plus just so I can stream in 4K as well. If you're gonna be going to the next gen consoles, it's actually worth spending that little bit extra um, to get the 4K one so you can stream at that higher quality. Now, this will essentially capture your um, all your gameplay, so all the images, everything that's going on on your screen. And then it will also capture the audio, send it to your PC, and then, um, uh, so this will essentially capture all your images and the audio um, in this device from your console and then it will send it to your PC where your PC will then send all that gameplay, audio, images and everything um, off to your streaming platform, YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, wherever you want to or if you just want to record stuff um, even if you never even want to go live. Okay, but in order to do that, you're gonna to have to set it up correctly. So next, you're gonna to have to look at this diagram. So here you can see that the PS4 runs from a HDMI through to the Elgato capture, then a HDMI on the other end, which is the HDMI out into your TV or monitor. Now, how you hook it up to your PC is when you buy it, it actually comes with a mini USB to USB cable, which goes from the Elgato itself into your PC or laptop, as you can see just here in this diagram, guys. All right, so once you have all that hooked up, you are essentially ready to start sending um, all your gameplay from your console to your PC. And then we just need to get the um, streaming. Then we just need to get the OBS software. So OBS software is your broadcasting software, which essentially you can do all your edits, everything like all this stuff behind me, get your names and logos, animation, and then send it off um, to wherever you want to stream to, all right? So let's get into the next step. Um, I actually use Streamlabs personally, but there's also OBS and then you use Stream Elements. I know there's XSplit. So whatever you like to do, you choose, all right? But I'm just gonna run with Streamlabs because that's what I use and that's what I know best, all right? So guys, let's get into the next step. All right, guys, so once you have your console and your Elgato capture card set up and all connected from the console to the capture card to your PC, we just need to do some background things to get you ready and going live. So for Streamlabs specifically um, to set up and make you go live, you're gonna have to link your Twitch account, YouTube account, or Facebook account. Now for Facebook, you're gonna need to make a gaming content creator page for it to work. Otherwise, Streamlabs is not gonna recognize where to send your stream to. So as you can see, here's my page just here. Now, what you're gonna to have to do is go to Facebook and I'm going to walk you through the steps of how to do it. So once you have Facebook up, what you're gonna to need to do is go to this plus sign just up here in the top right hand corner next to your profile um, button and click on that and that will create something where you create posts, story, life events, pages, which we're gonna be doing and groups, etc. So we're gonna be going to page. So once that's loaded up, you'll see this page. Now we're gonna give your page a name. Now think carefully of your name because once you commit to it, um, it's sort of locked in, but it's gonna, remember it's gonna be your brand um, moving forward. You can change it later on and rebrand yourself, but try and keep it as something um, that you wanna stick with because the community is gonna learn this name and stick with it. So once you've picked your name, we're gonna go down to category and we're gonna type in gaming video creator. Now, this category is very, very specific and very important. You're going to need to be in this category for Streamlabs to recognize your page as somewhere to send your streams to. And so it recognizes that you're going to be part of the Facebook gaming community. If you don't do this, Streamlabs isn't going to recognize your page as a video gaming uh, content page. Okay, so once you do this, um, you can put in your description, but you can do that later on and then hit down here, create page. And once that's done, you'll be on to the first steps of your Facebook gaming experience. 
All right, guys, so once you're hooked up and ready and you want to start broadcasting, you're going to want to head to streamlabs.com, all right? I'll put all the links in the description to all the hardware that I'm suggesting and the um, websites as well. So it will bring you to a screen just like this, all right? Now, you can either hit the download button just above my head up here in the corner or you can hit it just over here as well, okay? So once you download it, um, you're going to run the exe file and install it, okay? So I'm going to do the exact same thing while I'm here with you right now and see what it comes up with okay guys so once you've installed streamlabs it's going to bring you to a screen something like this okay and you're gonna to have to choose what you're going to log in with now I highly suggest logging in with the platform that you're going to be using all the time so if you're going to be using twitch all the time and stick with that then try and spread out to YouTube um, and Facebook Periscope whatever and try to give that a go I suggest logging in with that for me personally I'm staying with Facebook gaming all the time so I've made Facebook my primary login and I do this because if you get a prime subscription with Streamlabs it's going to link it to your primary login now don't worry if you want to um, use a different platform later on this can be changed but for the meantime I'm logging with Facebook and then I link my YouTube and my Twitch so I can then stream to all platforms in one go so that's another bonus with Streamlabs you can multi multi-platform stream okay so if you want to stream to anything more than just twitch or YouTube or Facebook you can actually stream to all the platforms as long as you log into each one of them and link them okay guys so once you've made your page you have you're all hooked up you have Streamlabs OBS downloaded what you're gonna to need to do I'm gonna need you to log in to your Streamlabs OBS um, on their website okay so this is how you're going to link everything so when you log in to Streamlabs OBS for the first time. If you use your Facebook or your Twitch or YouTube, it's going to ask you to log in to that corresponding account so it knows where to stream and send all your gameplay to. If you want to merge your other accounts, you can do it on the website like I have here. So I'm on the Streamlabs dashboard is what they call it at the moment if you're on the website. Now you're going to go over here to settings and then you're going to go up here to where it says account settings. Just here. Now, once you're in account settings, you're going to be able to merge your other platforms. So now you can do Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, which isn't around anymore, or even Periscope. You can add other platforms, but that's through the Streamlabs app itself. All right, guys, so we're pretty much at the end of the tutorial here. So what we've gone through is what hardware you're gonna need to set up your console to stream on Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook, and how to hook it up and then how to create a Facebook page if in case you want to stream to Facebook. And then we've gone through how to link or merge your Twitch, YouTube and Facebook on your one Streamlabs account. And then once all that's done and you're ready to go, you're happy with your layout, um, your stream layout in Streamlabs, um, how your page looks on Facebook, your YouTube channel or your Twitch channel, you're pretty much ready to go live. So what you need to do after that is down in the bottom right hand corner when you're using Streamlabs, there's a button called go live. Now, all you have to do is make sure that you have your capture card working, you're ready to go, um, your microphone ready and your webcam working if you're going to do it that way. If you don't want to, you can simply just play the game and stream your gameplay. Now, you don't have to do that but I highly recommend you go that extra mile and do it if you want to start your streaming career. Next, once you hit that go live button, you have to add a description and if you've merged all three accounts or more, you can choose which ones you want to go live to. You don't have to go live to them all the time. You can just go live to Facebook or Twitch or YouTube or all three or just two out of the three. It's completely in your hands. So once you do that, you'll put in your description, type away, and once you're ready to go, you hit OK, and then Streamlabs will automatically send your stream or your broadcast to that platform or all those platforms. And you are live and going. All right, exciting times, guys. Drop a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. But until then, happy streaming. This is Coswaza out.